Animate comes with a suite of ready-to-use effects such as uh, blurs, uh, highlights and transparency just to name, name a few. Um, and you can access all of those without leaving uh, the software. Uh, what I'm going to do in this part of the demo is just add a little drop shadow to our character. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is to uh, create a symbol out of all the animation that we've uh, produced so far. And now I can uh, just delete our working layers and import our new symbol from the library view. Uh, this will be our animation level. I'll duplicate this layer to create our source layer for the drop shadow and add a quad map layer to which I'll attach our shadow animation. Um, quad maps are used to distort your animation. Uh, so for example, if you have a moving light source like the sun, um, you can animate the distortion over time. Uh, we'll just be having a, a fixed shadow and light source in this demonstration. Okay, I'll just set up the uh, uh, the distorted shadow layer. There we go, that looks about right. Um, just another little interesting thing I'd like to show you is if I access the um, animation symbol here, um, for example, if I wanted to change the position of the arm, you can see that as I move it, the arm on the shadow layer is updating automatically. Now, this is a really great feature of Animate, um, and it in effect means that uh, you can make any changes to your animation uh, at any point you want, uh, even after you've uh, applied your effects. Okay, now the final thing we need to do to create our shadow is add an effects shadow layer and attach our quad map and shadow animation to it. And there we have our shadow. Um, now, if at any time you want to verify the uh, final look and quality of your sequence, uh, you can do very easily with Animate. So, for example, at the moment, looking at the shadow, it's made up of all these individual zones. Uh, if we uh, click on our render view, you can see that the shadow is rendering out exactly as it should be. Right, uh, the only thing we've got missing from this scene at the moment uh, is an environment for our character to uh, work in. So I think we'll uh, import a background from our library view. Uh, this particular background has been made up of several layers uh, and we'll have a look at those in a second. I'll just um, adjust the position of our animation. There we go. Okay. Um, now, uh, with uh, Animate's uh, multiplane camera, you're able to set up your, all your scenes in 3D, and this is how we've set up this background. Um, all the elements that you can see here were, uh, are vector-based and uh, were produced in Animate, um, but you can also import external files and have them integrated perfectly smoothly. Uh, Animate accepts all the industry standard um, file formats, uh, including MOVs, PSDs, PSD, uh, PDFs, uh, SWFs and AI file formats. And uh, just to um, demonstrate this, I'm, I'm going to import a JPEG image uh, to drop into our sky. So we'll select our JPEG and uh, we're going to import it as a JPEG image, so I don't want to vectorize it. And there we go. I'll just quickly uh, just adjust the size a little and position it. And uh, there we are. Okay, now uh, if we have a look at the perspective view, you can see that um, our background is made up of uh, different layers all set at different distances from each other. And there's a really useful tool in Animate that allows you to move the, any of your elements in your scene backwards and forwards and ma maintain the original aspect ratio and size of your original artwork. And uh, so obviously here we need to uh, reposition our sky. We'll just select it 
and we can push it back through our layers into the correct position and it looks a lot bigger there but uh, when we view it through the camera view it's uh, still exactly the same size and exactly the same uh, aspect ratio again I don't know how Toon Boom do it uh, but it looks really nice and works beautifully okay uh, just one other intro oh I just need to also extend the exposure of our single JPEG frame so it uh, fits the full scene Uh, another interesting feature which I'd like to show you is the morph function uh, and that allows you to interpolate um, between simple hand-drawn keys. Uh, in effect you're getting Animate to uh, produce the in-betweens for you. And I'll just show you a little example of what we can do with that. So if on our first frame I'll draw a little cloud and uh, I'll draw another cloud slightly differently in our final position. Just quickly select our paint on painted tool and uh, fill those in and apply our morph function. And now you can see that um, when I scrub through the animation, animators created all the in-between drawings for the clouds. Now this is a really great um, function uh, for creating things like clouds but also affects animation like mist and smoke and uh, uh, things like that. Okay the uh, only other thing I'd like to do now is add a camera move to our scene and uh, seeing as we've set everything up in 3D we really want to be able to make the most uh, of that and really impress the audience with our 3D setup. So we'll just uh, set up a move. Now you can see that as I track out and track in, um, Animate is automatically calculating all the relative positions between our separate layers in our scene. So it's very easy to just set up our first frame and our final frame. There we go, and let it run. And there we go. Uh, you can uh, change the um, velocity of your camera or ob object uh, using the uh, graph editor here. Uh, and you can really accurately adjust the ease in and ease out functions. Um, and you can do that in real time while the scene's running so you get immediate feedback on uh, the input in your graph editor. Okay, and don't forget that even at this late stage it's not too late to go back into your scene at any point um, and make any re improvements or refinements to your scene. Uh, thanks to the Animate's integrated pipeline you can have the freedom and the creativity to um, carry on improving your scene right up until the last moment uh, when you want to publish your sequence.